So welcome to another drift tutorial. I'm Remington Begg from Impulse Creative and I'm here to show you how to create an entire lead nurturing sequence from a drift chat playbook all the way on through to a drift email marketing playbook that will allow for you to capture someone's contact information via a chatbot and take it all the way through to nurturing them into a sales conversation. The best part about this is this entire tutorial and setting up this entire lead nurturing sequence can be done in under five minutes. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and I'm going to show you how to make this work for your business. All right. So as you can see on the screen, um, I have a blog up about conversational marketing. Um, it's a pretty long blog and there's some various calls to action throughout, um, throughout the blog. But as we scroll down, one of the things that we wanted to do, um, and this is happening a lot with pillar content, is we want to be able to make it so that these larger content pages have different opportunities to convert. You know, we're still a marketer, we still want to get that lead information, we still want to show our worth. What we need to do is figure out how we can create a meaningful and authentic experience, but then at the same time still have some opportunities for conversions. Drift makes that really easy. Um, so in this example, we have our blog hosted on HubSpot. We've gone ahead and written the blog out and it's published and it's getting some considerable traffic. So now what we're doing is we're going back in and we're going to add in some other CTAs in order to drive some traffic to a Drift link that would pop up a chatbot without taking the user to another landing page or anything like that. So on the screen, you'll see we've got this call to action um, for the conversational marketing template. When we click that, that'll go ahead and launch the Wayfinder bot, which is our drift chat bot at Impulse Creative. And you can see this is where the conversation is started. So for this example, we're just looking for you know two questions. And so we can go ahead and fill this out. Um, and this is going to ask for the name and it's going to ask for their email. So once they go through and they fill this out, we have it set that on the set goal in Drift for that chatbot chat playbook, you'll be able to see um, that list. So when we look at how to structure this whole thing up, it's really focused around this. So you've got your Drift chat book playbook that you're gonna build out, and I can show you a template on how to, how to make all of that work. Then you, go, you have to create a Drift dynamic segment of your contacts, which is a lot easier than it sounds. And from there, that is going to trigger a Drift marketing email playbook that'll allow for you to set up the automation. So we're gonna be spending a lot of time in the Drift marketing email playbook today, but I am also gonna be showing you how to create that Drift dynamic segment. So we'll jump right in. So when we look at your overall playbooks, there's a couple things to um, consider. One is you have to have the first playbook, the chat playbook set up um, already with a goal, and the goal should be gave email, um, and you know we can talk about that in another tutorial. Once you have that, um, that playbook created, what you need to do is create the dynamic segment. And to create the dynamic segment, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to your contacts tab and you're going to click add filter. And you'll notice that you have playbooks, you've got properties and events. We're gonna hang out in the playbooks tab right now. So when we click playbook, you're gonna go down and this example that I'm gonna show you is a brand new one that we have. It's a headline swipe file. So you choose the playbook that you want. And what we want to do is we want to show that they reached a goal. When you choose reach a goal, it'll give you the options that are in the goals in your actual chatbot. And you can click gave email, which is what we want. And of course you want was reached. When you add the filter, it then shows you the contacts that are in the system and you can click save dynamic segment. This is where you need to name your segment we use naming conventions that are very specific to the name of the offer. So you can go ahead and do that by just, you know, just typing in whatever you need here. So this is for our headline swipe file. And then you just create, create new segment and boom, 
you've got a headline swipe file contacts and gave an email was reached um, in regarding the goal. So these are the contacts that are in the particular chat book, chat bot playbook right now. So now that we've built our dynamic segment, now we can jump over to playbooks and we're going to create a new playbook and that playbook is going to be an email playbook. So I'm gonna jump right into how to do this in just a second, but one of the first things I wanna show you is that you have to plan out how to build out these emails. And in most other platforms, you're gonna be dealing with creating all your emails and then putting them into a workflow. And from there, you know, setting up the time delays. Uh, the drift system works quite a bit different. So you've gotta have all this planned out ahead of time. Um, and a lot of cases, it's, it comes out to be much simpler. So at Impulse Creative, we take all of our email drips and we plan them out all in one document. So we have day, day zero, day one, day five, day seven, day 29. And what we want to do is kind of plan out all that content. So when we're in this content, you'll see that we have, um, this is our headline swipe file email drips and our segments are typically five to six emails, but um, for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to show you three. You don't have to watch me build this entire thing. So when we're in the, um, when we're in the Google Doc, you'll see that we've got day zero, we've got our from email set, um, set up, we've got our subject, and then we've got our message. So all of best practice for us is all of our links would want to be, um, you'd want to have all your links defined in this document so it's easy to copy and paste. That makes it easier for you when you're actually implementing. So we've got a day, day zero, we've got a day three, and we have a day six uh, follow-up email in this segment. So. Now that we have all of our emails put together, we're gonna to go ahead and jump in and we're going to create a triggered email campaign. So this send a triggered email campaign is not gonna be a one-time thing. It'll send initially when you create it, but it's also going to follow up and it's going to send emails whenever anyone is created in that dynamic segment that we just created a few minutes ago. So you're gonna go ahead and click create playbook and the internet's going slow today. All right, once you've created your, um, you've built out the playbook for the triggered email playbook, you're going to wanna rename that right off the bat. So headline, swipe, file, download. And you've got compose your emails, you've got your building your audience, and then you have, of course, sending the emails. So I always like to go in and build my audience first. So when you click build your audience, Drift makes this super easy. You can choose your headline swipe file context. So that's the segment that we just created. You click the little green arrow. And now what, we, um, now what we can do is you can add some other smart filters. So if you're building a landing page nurturing sequence, it's probably not a good idea to um, make it so that it doesn't send to engage contacts because in the sales process, they might be downloading some of these resources. But what you can do um, is you can break up this email nurturing so that you could add some of that um, some of that automation or some of that smart filters afterwards. And I can show you how to do that in another tutorial. But you can add in your tutorial or add in your um, your filters here. You know, we're not looking to engage or stop any sales engaged contacts necessarily at the moment. We just wanna make sure that we send them their download via email when they request it. So we're gonna go back to our email section. We are going to um, choose, I'm a big fan of simple text emails, but you can choose between a banner styled uh, message, a logo styled uh, message, and then of course a simple text. So as you scroll down, this is the entire email dialogue for email one that would go out. And essentially this is the day zero email that would happen as soon as someone hits that segment goal list. So we're gonna jump over to our day zero email here. You can see we have our thanks for downloading as our subject line. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that into the subject line here. We can come over here to the message and we can highlight this all and we can drop that right into right into the message I'm a big fan of short and sweet um, short and sweet emails when we're when we're doing nurturing people are busy already the last thing you want to do is throw more um, noise at them so 
What we have done is I've got this PS. You can highlight it, drop in all your links that you want, you press OK. And um, then what you're going to do is we have our copy for click here to download. I'm a, you know, if you can put in a, a call to action button, that's amazing. So Drift makes that super easy. You can go ahead and drop in insert and you can drop in a button. And that button, we have our title, and then we would have the actual web address for the offer. So I forgot the web address in my template, but for the sake of this, we'll go ahead and just put in our website. So I can show you guys how it works. So we go hit insert, and you're gonna see, you see we've got the text, we've got the button, we've got our, the rest of our message, and that is the end of email one. The one you can choose your emails. This is going to show everyone who's on your team. What you can also do is set up multiple inboxes for Drift, and Drift can actually be an inbound email uh, tool for you to communicate with your with your people. So we have a Hey at Impulse Creative, which is our general inbox for everybody. Go ahead and set that up as the from, and we'll change this to Wayfinder Bot. Impulse Creative. All right, so now we got to set up our next email. A lot of times you'd save this in other platforms, you go into other areas. With Drift, all you have to do is press this button. It automatically asks you when you want your delay. It drops in the from the same as what you had before. And this is where we can just drop in our day three email. So day three, we drop in our what did you think as our subject line. Drop in our message that we have here. So that's it for the second email with our day three delay that you see up here. And then we're gonna add one more here and the next email for an additional three days. So this is three days after the previous email. Um, what we're gonna do is go in here. So our last email shows for day six. Day six is the total days. So what we wanna do is the three days plus three more days. So this is coming from Hey at Impulse Creative. Our subject line is ready for another guide. And if we drop in the email here, and then we go to our content. Scroll down. You'll see that we have bullet points set up. We've got our name. If you want to insert personalization, you can go ahead and do that. Um, so we have our howdy there. And then you can insert with this button personalization and you can scroll on down to first name or whatever you're using in that particular um, in that particular chatbot. So I'll search first name, and you can put in a default value. We don't put default values for first name uh, because our howdy works by itself, but that's up to you and how you want to do things. So now we have in under five minutes we have email number one. We've got email number two, which I've got to put the link in, and then we have email number three with a final follow-up. All of these emails will be coming from Hey at Impulse Creative, but if you ever wanted to shift in the nurturing emails to one of your sales reps or something like that, you could easily do that to enable them by just dropping down and clicking a different, uh, a different email. So once we have our email put together, um, any one of these you can send a test email to. Um, I'll show you what that looks like here. You literally just click send test and it's sending a test to the email on your account. Um, you can preview the individ individual messages as well. This is gonna show it to you on, you know, on screen and then it's literally showing you the overall uh, message and how it's going to work. Um, and then you can also throw some other advanced options. So smart sending would allow for them to send based on typical um, typical times that are going to show the highest open rates. This is something that can work really great for ongoing nurturing emails. Um, in my opinion, it's not great to do right off the bat if someone has downloaded your ebook guide and is expecting an email. 
So you can choose to turn that on or off. I urge you to test it out and see what works best for your business. So now that we've sent everything, we can pull up our email and we can look at the test that we have. And the cool thing is it comes through as a pretty authentic follow-up email. Um, we go ahead and click that email here and you can see, whoa, thanks for so much for downloading our guide. Here's the link to the download, simply reply back. It's very simple email, but in my experience, a very effective one. All right. So once you like your preview text and like everything going, you can literally go on over to the, the send email queue. You can click this playbook is on and it is going to give you the magic button. And it's gonna show you how many people it's going to send to immediately when you press this button. But something else to note is that this section right here in the text on the send email is, it's gonna to send to three people immediately, but then anyone who gets added to the segments automatically. So um, that is the end of our tutorial. If you have any further questions or you want us to show you how to do something in Drift, let us know, happy to help out. And please take a second to see some of our other tutorials and even get into um, subscribing and clicking the bell to get notified when the next one comes out. Have a great day.